Hi everybody, Nathan Ronan here. I uh, hope everything's going well for you today. Just wanted to spend a couple of moments here talking about the CFA level one exam for 2023 in terms of its structure in case you don't know. Uh, before I actually get into the uh, heart of what I wanna talk about, just wanna tell you that if you like what you're seeing and you like what you're hearing, please press the subscribe button and the notifications button so that you can continue to receive these updates as I post them. Well, with the CFA level one exam for 2023, what you should anticipate as a candidate sitting for the exam, whether it be February, May, August, or November, is the following. You should expect a complete 100% multiple choice exam where you have a question and three choices, A, B, and C. And there are going to be two sessions, session one, session two. They used to be called morning and afternoon, but now they're called session one, and session two. Each session is going to be comprised of 90 multiple choice questions based on the CFA level one curriculum for obviously 2023. So studying for the exam with outdated materials, 2022 or 2021 can actually harm you when you're doing these multiple choice questions on the real exam. Now, the uh, entire exam is going to be about four hours and 25 minutes, two hours and 12 minutes, in the first session, two hours and 12 minutes in the second session. And since you get 90 questions uh, in each session, you basically have a minute and a half, meaning 90 seconds to complete each question, okay? And get an answer. And, you know, obviously click the button on the computer there on the screen so that you could move on. Now, what's really important for you to understand though is the way they're structuring the questions. In the first session, you will get approximately uh, 27 to 36 or somewhere around there, questions about ethics in a row. They'll cover ethics and GIPS, okay? Then after that, the remaining questions up till 90 will all be made up of a combination and it will be random questions on economics, quantitative methods, and financial statement analysis. That's how it's going to be. So again, the ethics questions up front, one, one after the other, and then followed by a whole series of random questions on ethic, excuse me, economics, quantitative methods, and financial statement analysis. So you might get two economics questions followed by two quant, by one financial statement analysis, then suddenly four quant, but it's gonna equal 90 questions in that first session. The second session will be all the remaining questions, meaning all the different types of topics that have not been covered in the first session. So what they will start out is they will start out with asking the corporate finance questions, which could possibly be around 10% of your exam. So figure about uh, 18 questions, okay, in a row, all about corporate finance, which is called corporate issuers in 2023. And then the remaining 72 questions will be a mix, random mix of equity, fixed income, derivatives, alternative investments, and portfolio management. So that's how you should expect to see the questions in the first session and the second session. Once the first session is over and you go into the second session after your half hour break, you cannot go back to the first session. So make sure you do your questions very systematically, very quickly. Try to stick, and you'll hear me talk about another rule about how to solve those problems if you look at my other videos, but that's what you need to know about this exam at level one for 2023. Again, thank you, and don't forget to hit the subscribe button.